You're now tuned into Kofi's Universe since you're just sitting on Uranus. This is the number one YouTube channel for hip hop culture news, informed black social issues, song reaction videos, and even comedy. So be sure to like this post. And if you haven't already subscribed, do so right about now. Razzcast. YouTube salute. In a recent interview, Tupac's former girlfriend, Desiree Smith, spoke candidly about her time with the rapper and made revelations that haven't been discussed in decades. Let's talk about it. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video. Hit that subscribe button. Click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Check out Joey Badass 2000 review in the album review playlist. So in one clip of her interview with the Art of Dialogue, Smith revisited when Pac signed his deal with Death Row and called the rappers. Immediate reaction after Suge Knight and his attorney left the room. All right. She said it was a little crazy because I don't mean this literally, but I guess once they left, he was excited, but he did make this comment where he was like, I just signed my soul to the devil. I was the only person that rocked with him when everybody else that had made money with, did business with, pretty much turned their back. She said, Jada tried to get some of the money, but she didn't have all the money to get him out of there. So it was his relief. However, Smith believed, believe, excuse me, that had circumstances been different, Pac would have gone that route. Although it seems that after he got out, they became good friends. She recalled of Tupac and Knight, but that was the mood and everything that he did damn near his whole life was to make sure that he put his mother and his family in a good position for life so that they would be well. And you know, he was going to do whatever it took. So if you want to check out that interview, check it out on the Art of Dialogue podcast. He's on YouTube, but uh, listen to the interview. How do I feel about Tupac signing his soul to um, death row or signing his soul to the devil? I can see that. I can see that because, first of all, Tupac never really cared about probably even being on death row. Yes, there was talks back in the day that Tupac would have went to death row when he was doing the Above the Rim soundtrack and all that stuff, yada, 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 yada. Okay, that's cool. But really, Tupac had his own thing going over at Interscope. Me Against the World, actually, that came out when he was in jail. That went platinum. Tupac was already releasing great hits, and he had a well-known name. But, you know, death row took him over the hump as far as, like, a huge catapult. It was more like, you know, made him go worldwide. Not to say two people didn't know Tupac, you know, in, in various countries, but Tupac with Death Row, you know, he came out the gate selling five million with all eyes on me. You know, going platinum with hit him up. Going platinum with um How Do You Want It To? Um all the singles he was dropping over on Death Row. Every single he was dropping was going platinum, platinum, platinum plus. One million plus, one million plus, one million plus. He released the Gridlock soundtrack with um with Suge Knight. Like, all the stuff he was doing, it was just turning up. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it seemed like this is this sound kind of messed up, but I'm gonna be real. If he would have never signed with Death Row, he would have never probably died. Think about it. Yeah, Tupac was doing stuff, but he wasn't doing nothing crazy like that when he was with um, should night as far as like firing on gang members and stuff. Nah, you know, Tupac still would have been Tupac, but you know, it's what if like that, like the Disney plus show for Marvel. What if, but you know, can't do nothing now. Can't do nothing now, but you know, maybe him not being with death row, he would probably have never sold 5 million plus albums or went dying and all that other stuff. But he would have been living. You know, that that's what that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at that. And his ex-girlfriend knows him. She was intimate with him. So she knows a lot of what was going on. Somebody can sit here and say she cloud chasing, but shit, she was sleeping with him. Y'all yeah, wasn't sleeping with that fool. And you know, I'm just being real. Like, and I'm not calling him a fool like he's a fool. I'm just saying y'all wasn't sleeping with Pac. You know, I mean, the only people that would know him close like that would be his mom, you know, the outlaws, you know, his cousin, um, Qaddafi, but he passed away, you know, so. Come on, man. People are gonna say what they want to say, but I can take her word. You know, when you do sign your um life over, 
to a record deal, you know, to the major label, it is sign your soul to the devil because it's all kind of things that come with that. Yeah, you might get publicity, you might, you know, get, you know, promoted and all this other stuff, but they have their perks too. It's, it's pros and cons to everything in life. Post your comments below. Hope smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.